Oklahoma State, number 18 in the country, a two-point road favorite at Kansas. 65 and a half total here, Brett. Yeah, I took Oklahoma State minus two, but that was rolling the dice based on I think Spencer Sanders is going to play. Based on what I've seen Mike Gundy say, he said he's hopeful he can play as of yesterday. So I wanted to take advantage of the line because if Spencer Sanders is confirmed to be playing or reports come out that he returns to practice, uh, that minus two is not sticking around. So I kind of took a little bit of a gamble on that. I totally understand if, if others don't want to, we're talking about it in the, uh, in the discord and a lot of people don't want to take the bet on that. That's fine. I, I totally get that. And I'm not going to sit here and be like, no, you should, uh, you know, it, it, it's a risk. Uh, Jalen Daniels for Kansas return to practice for the first time since he got injured against TCU in the health of the quarterbacks in this game is just going to swing this line all the way around. So Spencer Sanders is confirmed to be out. I wouldn't be surprised to see Kansas take over as a favorite is Spencer Sanders is confirmed to be in. I wouldn't be surprised to see this line bump up to like Oklahoma state minus six, maybe even minus seven. Um, it, the pokes already got the worst game of the year out. They, they got, I mean, we saw what happened last week. There was, is a shocker to everybody to lose 48 nothing to Kansas State. Please don't take just that game to project Oklahoma State moving forward. Don't do that. That is we we talked about percentages and best games and worst games and you always play the middle again depending on injury, but they already played their worst game of the year. So I'm not taking 48 nothing and being oh that's the Oklahoma State we're going to get in in Lawrence. No, no, it's probably not. But Oklahoma State had zero red zone plays against Kansas State. That's concerning. Kansas State, really good defense, but zero red zone plays. I mean, not shocker to see the goose egg on the scoreboard with that. Um, I'm not using the aggregate power ratings here because it factors in numbers with Spencer Sanders without Jalen. It's kind of a mess. So you're kind of flying blind on that. But interestingly, under Spencer Sanders, they had a, a Oklahoma State through for 11.5 air yards per attempt. When uh, Mike Gundy's son, Gunner Gundy, came in, that dropped down to 5.9. Uh, oof. That, oof. Yikes. So if Gunner I'm, Gundy's I'm shocked that the zero star coach's son backup quarterback uh, struggled. I'm shocked. Yeah, it's, it is a, it's a tough season for nepotism this year yeah. between Brian <laughs> Ferentz and Gunner Gundy. Um, yeah, so if Spencer Sanders plays, I'm backing Oklahoma State, and I feel really good about that minus two. It's going to be a massive steal on closing line value. Kansas, atrocious on defense. And again, I, I can't imagine that we're going to get another instance like we did last week from the Pokes. It's just really tough to handicap this game with the two biggest factors. Questionable. We don't know anything about it. 